I posted my first Minecraft video on this channel almost three years ago, and it changed my life forever. But something has changed. Over the last year, I've posted almost nothing but hardcore Minecraft. And I hate to say it, I'm getting bored of Minecraft. I'm sure the feeling's not completely unrelatable. For most people, playing in a single Minecraft world gets boring after a while. But it wasn't always like this. In the past, I'd post a variety of different Minecraft content and it was so much fun. It's just the pressure of gaining such a large audience and trying to meet their expectations that caused me to get stuck doing the same thing over and over. So let's change it up. It's a brand new year, so let's start things off looking back at some of the things I've done over the last three years, revisiting them, and let's just have fun playing Minecraft again. The year is 2019 and Minecraft is about to have its resurgence on YouTube. Thanks mostly to the largest creator, PewDiePie. At this stage, my channel had around 100 to 200 subscribers and I had only just begun shifting from making Fortnite videos to Minecraft, but nothing was making me stand out. And then one day in the middle of July, PewDiePie uploaded a new video, Minecraft Skyblock number one. Minecraft Skyblock is one of the most iconic Minecraft survival maps, so like most, I was excited to see him play it. However, I found myself disappointed after watching a 24 minute long video and not seeing him make any progress. Come on, I need to finish. I have to eat dinner, Ken. This episode needs to finish. Come on. Give me but I me saw me. this as an opportunity and I was about to come up with my best clickbait yet. On July 21st, 2019, I uploaded a new video titled Dear PewDiePie. Here's how you play Skyblock. Dear PewDiePie, here's how you play Skyblock. It shouldn't take you 20 minutes just to make a cobblestone generator. Enjoy. The video didn't go instantly viral, but it was gaining traction faster than any video I'd done before. Might have had something to do with PewDiePie's face plastered on the thumbnails, and I made sure to capitalize on this, continuing to use PewDiePie's likeness for the next four videos in the series. And it worked. In many ways, Skyblock was the beginning of my YouTube channel's growth, because just a little over a month after the first episode, I had more than doubled my subscribers, reaching 500 and quickly rising. And to this day, if you search for PewDiePie Skyblock on YouTube, my video is one of the top results. So now let's visit the portal of time so we can reminisce on the past and take a look at where it all began. For the first time in over two years, let's play Minecraft Skyblock. Hey, you know what? For old time's sake. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to Minecraft Skyblock. We're back. Yeah, we're back to where it all began on these floating grass blocks in the sky. And today we're just going to try and do something cool. So uh, let, let's see if I've still got it. Let's see if I've still got the skills to make a cobblestone generator. Ah, you didn't think I was actually gonna do that, did you? I'm not that dumb. I know what I'm doing. Boom, cobblestone generator. Take that, PewDiePie. I can still do it. I love Skyblock. Give me this wood. None of it fall into the void. I want all of this. And uh, humble beginnings. Let's let's put down our crafting bench. And it's our very first pickaxe. Now we get to work. Ah, oh, content. Skyblock, it never gets old. Later. Oh, this is so boring. Why did I want to do this? All right, let's go a little sicko mode. Let's, let's make some slabs. Oh, we are gaming. Give me this last bit of wood. Now we wait for the saplings to come rolling in. And what better thing to do to pass the time than dig more cobblestone? All right, any, any saplings yet? Ooh, I see an apple. I was thinking, should I like challenge myself to try and not die at all? It'll be hard because you don't get too much food in this. No, was that a sapling or a stick? It was a stick. I know it was a sapling. I'm just going to tell myself it was a stick. Have you checked if you're subscribed lately? You may watch my videos all the time and not realize you're actually not subscribed. And if that's you, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. All right, please give me a sapling. Oh, we did it. We did it, gamers. Two saplings. Let's go. Humble beginnings. And now we can go back to our lives as a humble cobblestone miner. Now, what are my aspirations for this video? I don't really know. I want to play for a while and do some cool stuff, hopefully. But I don't intend on this being a series. It's just a one-off little visit. But let's just get a little crazy. And let's just, let's just speed run this. All right, and if I'm taking this super serious, one of my favorite strategies in the whole world. You break this block here, you put down a chest, and now you just hold down mouse button one. And you just wait for the cobblestone to fly in. Another thing, what if I... What if I stood here? Okay, it pushes me out. 
Oh, now we're talking. I don't really get how this works, but it works. And we should lose no more cobblestone to the lava. All right, but I'm actually going to go insane. Like, can we... I want to do something. I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm getting bored. My little pea brain can't, can't handle doing just this. Let me, uh, let me try and pick up this lava. I've got a fun little side mission we can do. Let's put away some of our blocks. Break this block. Yes, we didn't lose it. We can come underneath our island here. And let's try collecting all of our dirt. <gasps> Glow squid. Oh my god, that's so cool. We are playing in 1.18, by the way. Not that it changes anything for Skyblock. But hey, we do get the best mob, Glow squid. So... Alright, now let's turn our lovely grass block island into, uh... Well, all cobblestone. If I lose a single bit of this dirt, I will actually cry. Oh my god. Okay, that was a close call. Real gamers know you got to collect all the dirt, but also you got to leave a couple blocks because you also got to keep some grass as well. If you get rid of all your grass, well, you'll never grow grass again. And that, that's going to be kind of depressing. So now we've, we've collected all our 52 blocks of dirt. Now we can start replacing some of these blocks with cobble. All right, there we go. Now we can resume things as usual put our lava back there and now back to the most important thing we got a mine for the cobble now we put in the time and effort we really want to start expanding things we want to get room hopefully farm up some more trees and get some saplings to start things off we do need to do a bit of grinding there's really just not much for us to do obviously we want to head over to the sand island over there but in order to free up ourselves we're just going to need to grind and collect some stuff so let's get to it Another pick. Oh, we have we have wood. We have trees growing. This is great news. I was getting so bored of mining cobblestone. Uh, the panic, panic, panic. We want all these saplings. We should get all these saplings. It's within our boundaries. So I kind of have a ridiculous amount of cobble now. I've gone through two whole stone pickaxes. But I think right now, let let's head for the island. Let's go get some sand cactus and i forget what else is on that island but for now we wait for saplings uh hello anybody home <gasps> yes great amazing all right saplings I'm, go I'm gonna i'm gonna leave now so don't drop while i'm gone okay I i'm going away so don't drop any saplings <gasps> okay i think we're good how many blocks do you need to get out here i, r I really don't remember Oh, wow. It's, it's really not many at all. We're, we're already here. Okay, I'm not going to touch you yet. I don't want to stuff up and make all the sand fall into the abyss. I'm going to make sure to get all this sand. We have limited blocks as it is, so... Oh, a sapling. Hello. Don't mind if I do. All right, this is a dangerous mission, but we're bringing the water bucket along. Let's, let's make sure to not make any mistakes here, because, well, we kind of need water to, to do anything in this, in this world. All right, great going under all right so now that we're underneath the sand we can quite simply build a large platform underneath it all all right okay that's our safety barrier i think we're, we're fine to engage cactus my only friend finally i can feel something all right what loot <gasps> Melon. Oh, we have the best loot of all. And some obsidian, but that's kind of boring. Who cares about that? I got the melon. All right, everything secured from the sand island. All right, now massive, huge game of brain play. Look at that. Easiest sand collection of my life. All right, but let's take our water and let, let's get back home. We have so many trees. Oh, it's, it's looking good. What a wonderful day to be playing Skyblock. All right, so in the beginning, we didn't have enough things to do, but now we finally have a lot of things to do. We've got new things to farm. We've got pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, and let's also start farming our trees a lot more as well. Oh, Skyblock is just so fun, man. So fun. Oh, I also wanted to start planting my melons, but I'm realizing now I only have one sword source of water at this moment so we're gonna have to start a bootleg melon farm up right here all right well the melons there we may as well farm some pumpkins here as well oh and our cactus of course how could i forget our cactus there you go it's all happening it's all happening and i am starting to get hungry i think it's time we ate our very first apple we got oh my gosh the trees the trees oh and there is one thing I'm starting to realize now. We're, we're, we're expanding our, our island quite a bit. Which means there's a fair bit of room here. 
and that means there's actually room for mobs to spawn so big big pro gamer strategy let's get some uh let's get some logs into the furnace and let's make our first torches perfect there we go we have torches which means we have safety oh and we're playing on 1.18 so we're kind of cheating because we need way less torches to light this up our skyblock journey so far was going great but i got stuck for a while just mining for cobble and farming trees so i had to figure out a way to change it up and make some more progress Ooh, we really should be probably making a nether portal and trying to go to the nether right now so we can start doing things like making a mob farm and stuff because I'm kind of suffering over here. But I also don't just want to make a nether portal anywhere because, I mean, you can't move it after it's made and then it, it's like ugly. But one thing I am sure of is I want to move my cobblestone generator to a platform underneath the rest of the island. So right now, let's work on building out something underneath here. Oh, am I on a lower block? Oh, I kind of want to be on a higher block. You know, things have started getting bad because I'm starting to walk everywhere instead of sprint. All right, you know what? We're, we're committing. We're putting our portal downstairs. <gasps> Apple. <gasps> Apple. Uh, so let's be careful here not to stuff this up. We only get one shot to build this portal. I almost thought I'd made a mistake then with the roof, but it's actually perfect. All right, so you may be wondering how on earth am I going to light this portal? If you're not familiar with the skyblock strategy, there's a certain way to do it without a flint and steel. Fortunately, we still have our lava here. And if we put our lava down right here, eventually it will burn this wood. And when that happens, it will light the portal. So now it's a waiting game. This bit's always fun. We wait... Oh, okay, okay. That was actually like, what, two seconds? Okay, I didn't have to wait at all. Never mind, that was gonna be fully dramatic then. No, that, that was easy. Now we can put our lava back. Everything's all good. We, we have our nether portal. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that is entirely scuffed. Um, what? All right, this is what we came here for. Birch sapling, sugar cane, but most importantly, another bit of ice. Later on, we'll come back here. We'll collect some of this glowstone and these... I can take these mushrooms now. That's no worries. I shouldn't lose. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. My nether portal just nearly broke. I'll go through this side of the portal then, I guess. All right, let's get right to it. This is where the skyblock truly begins. Let's grab our ice. Let's grab our water. And now we have an infinite water source. And this is exciting because it means we can start farms all over the place. We don't have to farm our melons directly on top of where our cobblestone generator is. And also this means we can finally move this, this cobblestone gen like I wanted to. I was going to try and come up with something kind of complicated and try and get cobblestone to spawn faster, but I only have stone pickaxes, so I can't mine faster than just one block at a time anyway. So let's just keep it simple. Let's build a regular cobblestone generator. Actually, you know what? No, I changed my mind again. All right, what's this going to achieve? I'm, I'm not really too sure. All right, now let's see this bad boy work. Oh, yeah. Technically, this is a quad quad cobblestone generator i don't have a way to mine all four at a time but hey if i had a friend here we could have two two blocks each at a time it's pretty cool all right and i'm just gonna be honest we could definitely cram these trees a lot closer together all right i'm doing it i'm going absolutely insane this is gonna turn into a mess when these trees actually grow but and you know what i see a zombie over here most of you might think danger i think potential carrots and potatoes let's drag him over here to the middle of our platform come on little buddy give us the carrots. Okay. I guess I'll take some rotten flesh. Come on. Give me that. No. Not even rotten flesh this time. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's definitely not good. Go under. Hide. Hide from the... Why are you here too? Wait, you could be food. Oh, God. That was a jump scare. Okay, no rotten flesh, but we did get it golden sword with no durability love my luck what do you think you're doing here i have no way of getting emeralds right you are completely useless to me but what could be useful is the leads that these guys have i just i don't know if i'm prepared for this battle oh please don't go off the edge oh god he nearly 
spat me off the edge. That's cool. We got two leads and two leather. I guess you can just stay here now that I've murdered your companions. Uh, yeah, feel free to roam around. So update on the island. I've just made these cool staircases to go between the first and second level. And the objective for a little while is just going to be to make the island look good all right this is awesome but i definitely want to move this as soon as possible i would love before i have to move it though to just get one more melon <gasps> no that's so depressing right now it's still kind of a waiting game i should probably just go back to mining cobble i've got some things i want to do some things i want to some ways i want to build things uh but i first before i move these i just want to get one more melon so it wasn't a waste of time to have that planted okay and this is why we have a, a lower level i should put a roof on this right am i safe here i don't feel safe here Okay, I'm not safe here. This sucks. This sucks. Oh god. Oh god. Yes. Fly into the cactus. Oh my god, the cactus. It's genius. I'm too smart for these creatures. I'm too good. We should make it our priority to put an entire roof over this thing, though. Maybe just with some, some cobble for now. So that time, anytime it's nighttime, while we're still in the pre-bed era, we can still mine for cobble and be productive. Oh, this is huge. This is huge news. We got our very first melon. Boy, am I happy to see you. Great. In fact, I'm not even going to eat any of these melon slices. I'm probably going to invest them all into seeds. And speaking of seeds, it's time we moved all of this. All right, so here's the thing. I don't want to have any more dirt down here. And I'm slowly working on growing my grass up there to have a little grass patch above us here. But for now, we can tidy all this up. Just a little quality of life improvement here to the cobblestone generator makes it look a little more fancy. Instead of having blocks all over the place, I added some pressure plates instead. That way we can like freely walk around it a bit more. Since I made it so big, blocks like end up flying all over the place. So every now and then after I've been here for a while, I'll have to like run around and like collect all the cobblestone that's flown everywhere. Okay, now it's time we actually get a move on and start making our other farms. We still got to farm melons, pumpkins, sugarcane. All right, now the question is how much dirt do I invest into this melon farm i think the answer is a fair bit like this is 12 dirt that's so much for skyblock but i mean i like melons it's gonna be our easiest food source probably i hate you i hate you with all my everything please leave me alone wait i just had a kind of big brain play for a second yes i can use my leftover saplings in a composter to get bone meal right Oh, bone meal. All right, wait, hang on. You know what? I'm about to make a mob farm, so I'm just going to spend this on the melon farm right now. Boom. Now we can hopefully start yielding some melons from this. It wouldn't be the real skyblock experience if I didn't just spend like half an hour mining for cobblestone and also grinding wood. Uh, but now it's time. Finally, we've put it off long enough. We need to go and make this mob grinder. All right, now we got to build this thing up into the sky. So I managed to build this whole thing, no problem. Didn't even take me that long, but I found one problem. And uh, it, it's going to be getting down from here. Okay. Oh, God. All right, no, I got this. Minecraft is an easy game. Uh, let's just go. Missed me. Missed me. Oh, simple. All right, I do have the one problem where I will have to clear out those mobs at some point. Okay, wait, water's doing the work for me. All right, well, there's only really two other tasks we got to do. I want to expand a bit of a killing platform, and then I just need to go back up top and get the farm started. 
So the reason I've designed this the way I have and I've made everything so wide is because I've designed it specifically with spiders in mind. See, spiders are a pretty important thing to get in Skyblock because of the string. It gives you, well, a lot of options. Mostly it gives you wool so you can make beds. And with your typical mob spawners, spiders kind of clog them up. So you kind of actually want to prevent them from spawning in your typical mob spawner. But instead with this one, I kind of want to encourage spiders to spawn and give them as little to cling onto on the way down. All right, now we can start closing all of our trap doors, opening all of our fence gates. Now we can break all these torches. And now we want to rush our way and break this pillar all the way down before mobs start falling on our head. I'm getting anxious. All right, and now unless I've completely stuffed something up, which I might have, this... Okay, it should start dropping mobs. I just saw a zombie die. But what we really want to see is spiders because I would love some string. It would be the most useful thing to me right now. I didn't mean to look at you. Okay, I'm a gamer. Um, I don't know what my, I don't know what my idea is here. I don't want to die. God damn it. So the mob spawn is working. We're getting bones. We're getting, I mean, zombie flesh. The only other thing is I would just, I would love to see some spiders. <gasps> Spider, yes. Okay, please drop string, please. That's one string down, 11 to go before we can make ourselves a bed. But what we can do now, now that we've got some bone meal, we can come up here to our grass patch and then we can break this grass in hopes of getting wheat seeds. Okay, yes, wheat seeds. The thing is, that's only mob farm number one. This one is specifically designed so I can easily get some string. Now on the other side of my island here, I'm going to build a second mob farm. And that one's going to be designed so we can get ourselves carrots and potatoes. Right, another ridiculous long grind complete. We have a ton of cobble again. And I've also gone and collected from our mob farm a little bit. So we have tons of bones, heaps of string now. We could go and make our bed now, but I'll save that for a little bit, I think. Actually, no, you know what? I'll, I'll do it now. There is no time like the present. We now have a bed. Whenever it turns night, we can get rid of the phantoms finally. They are so annoying. And 14, 20. All right, there we go. Now we just build this uh, like a completely regular mob farm. Here we are again on the inside of a mob farm. Okay, so what we're trying to do right now is prevent any spiders from being able to spawn. And there's a very specific way you can go about doing that using a pattern something like this. It doesn't matter how many times I build this farm, I always manage to do it somehow wrong. Okay, yeah, but that is, I think, the best way to do it. All right, now the final thing I got to do for this farm, once again, Flip up all the trap doors. We got to get some water in here. The last thing we got to do, break all the torches and quickly run out of here. Uh, that's all the torches. Let's get rid of this water. Go down to the bottom. All right, that's another farm done. Now we've built two completely different mob farms. This one specially designed for getting iron, carrots, potatoes, and the other one for string. Now I think we just wait around for it to build up a bit and very soon we should have ourselves some carrots and potatoes. In case you're unsure of why these farms are any different, it's because zombies can only drop carrots and iron if killed by the player, where my other farm just lets all mobs die to full damage so spiders can't clog anything up. Oh, we just got an iron ingot. That's huge. I see a carrot in this mix as well. Do we get a potato as well by any chance? Doesn't look like it. We've got bows now as well. If we combine enough of these things, we could probably get a fully repaired bow. All right, let's give this another crack. Can we get a potato this time? Maybe. Oh, we got an enchanted bow. Another carrot though. Wait, potatoes are possible to get, right?
chicken. Wait, chicken. Oh, I wish I could get you out somehow. Can I try? I'm going to try. I break this. Just going to kill the zombie on top. <gasps> chicken. This is so awesome. Come with me. This is my first animal in this whole skyblock world. Right, I guess we could put him on that fence for now. I'm terrified of you despawning because you came as a baby zombie jockey, but... I, I hope you stay with us, chicken friend. I hope you do. Later. No, my chicken friend despawned. Oh, that's such a shame. But our mission's not over. We're still yet to get a potato. <gasps> there it is. I see my potato in there. That's all the loot I ever needed. And that leaves us with just a few final farms to make. We can now make our carrot, wheat, and potato farm. All right, in all honesty, we probably only need three dirt per sapling type i have like infinite bone meal now so technically i could even do less than that but one third wheat one third carrots one third potatoes i guess the fact that we have infinite bone meal highlights the fact that we don't even need to invest this much dirt into these crops either and maybe we could keep a lot more for the trees but in all honesty i don't know how much longer i'm going to be playing this skyblock in today's skyblock journey, we managed to make farms for almost every material we could, and there was still plenty we didn't do, but that's just the joy of Minecraft skyblock. On the surface, it seems extremely limited in what you can achieve, but as you keep playing, you realize there is always so much more to be done. I really enjoyed my time revisiting what may just be the beginning of my YouTube career, and if you did too, make sure to subscribe and join me as I continue looking back at some of my most iconic YouTube series that helped me get to where I am today. And most importantly, let's have fun playing Minecraft again.